It's finally time to test some more TikTok hacks. I found a few videos that went viral in the TikTok community, so let's give these PC tips a try and see if they actually work. Let's go. All right, let's give the first one a look at. We have a Gmail account from N. Hintersnish, the TikTok. Let's listen. I have a Gmail address. But yes. Did you know that if you have one Gmail, you have infinite Gmail? What? This really isn't a hack, but I feel like not many people know this. Every time you give out your email, you can add a plus sign right before the ad and add any string you want to the end of it. And it'll still lead to the same single inbox. This is called the plus notation. The so plus notation. This? First, if you file your email for anything important you don't want to miss, like a doctor, your new job application, or the Taco Bell newsletter, Hey, like speaking of, Taco Bell, that's some S tier food right there. Important. Then create a Gmail rule that files these into the priority folder. Second, if you sign up for anything else, add the name of the site that you're signing up for. So if you ever start receiving weird spam, you can block that particular address. And you'll know exactly which site leaked your email to dodge it. Okay. Files. By the way, this also works for many other email providers, not just Gmail. So go check yours. And ah. that was today's tech hack at Minute Well Space. Okay, I have heard of this one, but I have yet to test it out. Um, I think I've read somewhere that sometimes it doesn't work for specific websites but uh, that's what we're here for. So let's go give it a test. All right, to test it out, I'm gonna just try to make a Reddit account with a new email. And I think it's a good idea because I know a lot of people use throwaway Reddit accounts to answer questions and whatnot. So maybe this is a way to just have infinite Reddit accounts and we'll be able to see if, you know, Reddit sells our information. So I'm gonna use my setup spawn at gmail.com. But then we go in here, we should be able to add a plus sign and then just type in Reddit and uh, hit continue, username. Let's just, add, let's just pick one of these suggested ones. Guilty stomach, there we go. Yeah, that's a good one. And sign up. Now, if this hack works, then we should be getting, oh, it's just gonna let me in already. Still, we should get a verify email address email. So let's go check uh, my email real quick. Oh, hey, look, right here, first email. It actually did work. Okay, I didn't think it was gonna work with Reddit, but uh, kind of surprise. Guilty stomach. I'm never gonna use that uh, Reddit account again. I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, okay, it works. All right, we're one for one. Let's get into the second one from Matt Upham. And I think I've stitched this guy before. Tell me you're a hacker without telling me you're a hacker, right? Let's go. Tell me you're a hacker without telling me you're a hacker. Let's get stuff for free on the internet. Sure. We're going to get past this paywall. Right click, inspect. The old inspect. On the area that's highlighted and click delete. Follow for more tech hacks. Okay. Wait, what do we even have to... Tell me you're a... Get past this paywall. Right click. What website is he on? I mean, I've done a TikTok on this before, but uh, this is a little different. I have multiple ways of doing this, so stay tuned. All right, I'm on the NY Times website. They are forcing me to log in, but I don't really want to log in. So let's give it a try from his hack. All we have to do is right click, inspect. And see, that's not going to work because this is just highlighting the text. So I believe if we just go until it's all of it's highlighted, maybe this div class right here and then click on that and hit delete. Now, if we go back, yeah, it still doesn't work. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna show you how I would do it personally. Okay, there's more. There's two ways. Real quick, what you wanna do is right click on it, hit inspect again, and now you should see this little settings icon. You're gonna click on that, and then at the bottom right, you should see disable JavaScript. Click on that. Then you can just refresh the page, close this back out, and voila, you can now read the article. And another way of doing it is you can just copy the URL. This works for a lot of bigger websites. Go to archive dot is then we're going to search the website for uh, save snapshots and hopefully there's a cached version of it and unfortunately there's not so i'm just going to try it with this article instead sometimes you know there's not a cached version of the article and, and if that's the case and you might just be out of luck we'll try this one just to prove that it does work see these snapshots you can just click on one of these and now we have the full article for this one january 6 great day that's sarcasm by the way yeah it works my version does all right, two for two. Let's see what we got next. This from Mr. Who's the Boss. This is the coolest internet hack you can use today. It's called Project... Really? You're going to claim this is the coolest one? Napther. And as soon as you install this Google Chrome extension, you can go onto any image that has text on it. It'll allow you wait, to select wait. that text. This guy really going to try to rickroll me in the middle of my video? Next, copy it, paste it somewhere else. You can get it to speak it, etc. Are we a charity to you? Oh, that's pretty cool. But do you want to know the coolest thing? Because it's able to understand the text in a photo, with one tap, 
it can also remove it and you can have the base image behind that text Ooh, as that's pretty good for like photoshopping pretty cool send this to someone who needs to be erased i i didn't get that last part i'll be honest but let's give it a test all right again full transparency i have tried out this uh, extension before and i ended up uninstalling it but uh we'll give it another try so here's the uh, the app you can just download from there and i googled some funny billboards we love to be sitting on your face so as you can see when i hover over it it changes to a little cursor text and I can just copy everything. I think if I right click on it, I didn't know it did this though. Apparently it should be able to talk to me. Here it is, speak text. We'd love to be jitting o character fo. <laughs> e, this text was recognized by the built-in Ocrat engine. What is that? A better transcription may be attained by right click. Okay, well I just tried to do what it told me to do and it says no OCR servers are available. So let's go to notepad and uh, see if it recognized the text correctly. For some reason it's adding all this stuff after. We love to be jitting <laughs> on your, okay. So there is a little bit of issues here and I believe this is the reason why I ended up uninstalling it. But I think it still does the, uh, the erase text pretty well. Let's try it out. Erase text. All right, so that works out pretty well. So even if you're just using it for that, then maybe then maybe you can install it. But again, I couldn't really find too much use for it. So I ended up uninstalling it, but it does kind of work. It doesn't really uh, get the text always correct though. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. If you learned anything new, please consider liking and subscribing. Other than that, we out.